Okay, Jason, Hollis Farms this morning. Got my feed loaded up, just kind of sitting around, waiting on it to get good light. About didn't get up this morning, wore out. I don't know how many of y'all out there have to work seven days a week, but I've been going seven days a week now for about six months, and got about three more months of seven days a week to go, and buddy, I tell you what, it'll go to working on a fella. But anyway, I'm going to go feed these deer and then we'll see what we can get into today. I'll be back. You know, I was just talking about working seven days a week. I don't want to sound like I'm complaining because I know a lot of y'all watching say I got the dream job and it is a nice job but y'all know it don't matter what you do you do it enough it turns into work so biggest thing would be nice to cool off a little bit make you feel better but we're gonna keep plugging along we're gonna make it the deer is moving this morning I'll be back All right, so here's what I decided to do. I'm in here with these big bucks right now. And before I release them out into our big enclosure, I cut all their tags out. So I just shot one. And as soon as he goes down, I'm gonna show him to y'all and we'll cut his tag out and get him ready for release. All right, there's the one I shot. He's going to sleep. It'll take him five to 15 minutes to go to sleep and then we'll work with him. If y'all notice in here, I very seldom cut my Ranger off and kind of muffles the sound of the dark gun and it also just keeps them calmer. Every time I cut it off and go to work, they get a little nervous. So burn a little more gas, but it just seems to keep everybody a little more calm leaving it running. He's just about to go to sleep. Just about. This is a nervous time of year. It's a lot, lot that's got to go on in a short period of time. I need the weather to change. Be right back. All right, so I got his tag cut out. This is a stew. Alright, my hands are pretty big. I want y'all to look at how big around that is. Big horns. Beautiful. Beautiful buck. This camera's not doing him justice. Alright, I'm gonna wake him up real quick. That view right there does him pretty good justice. All right, so I went ahead and reversed the mess and to wake him up, I'm sitting here, went ahead and cut my rain draw because it's gonna take just a few minutes. They're pretty calm this morning. But I always stay on these bucks for sure and let them wake up and watch them because this time of year, they've done shed their velvet and they can get a little aggressive. Uh, any any animal in the, in the wild that gets down, gets hurt, shows a little sign of weakness the others they just it's just mother nature they're gonna jump on them and try to whoop them so he's uh i saw him move just a second ago we'll let him wake up real good and i'll show him to you this this medicine and stuff we use it's real easy on them so i'm not too worried about it you can you can actually work on them with this medicine when it's pretty hot i just don't like to All right, y'all, there he is, woke up. Took all of about 15 minutes. That's a dandy right there. All right, we got everything fed. Better run down here and get Dodge and a few bags of corn, go check a few feeders. We'll be right back. 
look at all these sawtooth acres. I mean, they are dropping. Raining down here, sawtooth acres. All right, so I come down here to check on some of my food plots. This is the first one I planted. See that wheat starting to pop up? And I am really hoping some of this little stuff I'm seeing is going to be that white clover. A little bit hard to tell yet, but the dang deer is already nipping on it already. Yeah, there's some little, little bit of clover coming up right there. Boy, we could use a shot of rain, but a lot of moisture right here. I think we'll be okay. I'll see what that drill does down through there. I was noticing right here where some of the seed fell out, we're going to end up with a real good stand. Going to be real good. Could use a little rain, but it's real damp right here in this corner. Doing good. All right, y'all, so me and Dodd's got that done. I pretty much feel like crap today. Not sure why. Wore out for one thing. But anyway, everybody has those days. I'm going to jump on the 5065 and do a little tractor therapy. I'll be right back. Don't that make you feel better? I feel a lot better after riding the tractor just for a little bit. But I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't feel good enough to do a whole lot else the rest of the day. I'm fixing to put this camera on charge and I'm thinking to be done for the day. Appreciate y'all watching. Y'all like our stuff, subscribe to us. Hollis Farms. Out of here.